there. Today we're going on an incredible journey to understand how new life begins, the process of human fertilization. Our story starts with the sperm cell, a tiny explorer with a very important mission. After sexual intercourse, millions of sperm are released into the female reproductive tract. It's a challenging journey, and only the strongest and luckiest will make it far. They swim through the vagina, past the cervix, and into the uterus, all heading towards their ultimate destination, the fallopian tubes. Meanwhile, a very special event is happening in the female body. Once a month, an ovary releases a mature egg cell, also called an ovum, in a process called ovulation. This egg is then gently guided into one of the fallopian tubes, waiting for its potential partner. As the sperm reach the fallopian tube, they encounter the egg. Many sperm try to fertilize the egg, but usually only one succeeds. Once a single sperm penetrates the egg's outer layer, a remarkable change occurs. The egg immediately seals itself off, preventing any other sperm from entering. This ensures that the new life receives the correct genetic information. The sperm's nucleus and the egg's nucleus then fuse, and this moment marks the very beginning of a new individual. The fertilized egg is now called a zygote. This tiny cell immediately begins a rapid series of divisions, multiplying as it travels down the fallopian tube. It's a tiny ball of growing cells on its way to its new home, the uterus. After about five to seven days, this developing ball of cells, now called a blastocyst, reaches the uterus. Here, it implants itself into the rich, soft lining of the uterine wall. This process, called implantation, is crucial for the continuation of the pregnancy. From a single sperm and egg, through a series of incredible transformations, new life begins. It's a truly amazing and complex process.